All right, now that you have harvested the lavender, what do you do with lavender? Well, I've come to the experts right here at Leisure Lavender Farm, and this is Judy Seaman. Now, Judy, what do you do with all the lavenders? You grow a number of varieties, including the stuff that you harvest and just dry, and the culinary types. What do you do with your lavenders? Okay, we have several things that we do with our mainstay, Phyllis, which is Grosso. We have a full product line that's all made in our home. It's all natural products. We have a liquid soap, spritzer, an all-purpose lotion, an all-purpose disinfectant. We've got sachets that you can put between your pillow and pillowcase at night. You can also put these in the dryer and please just bruise the flower and your scent will come back again. You won't lose that scent. Uh, cooking lavender. Cooking lavender can be used for teas as well as vinaigrette dressing. You might add some lavender bud to that. You can put it on fish. It's delicious. Very good for your central nervous system and your immune system. And how many varieties of that do you grow? We have five varieties here. Okay, and these are all hardy. You've got to make sure whenever you plant lavender that it's hardy for our area. And I want to tell you that this stuff, though, is really something that's really intrigued me. You say that you can wash your hardwood floors with it. Yes, we wash hardwood floors with this. I put it in my shampoo. This is pure oil and tea tree. Also use it in the rinse cycle of the wash. If you are a service worker and you have an odor, you work in a paving crew, you do something where you need to get rid of that smell off your clothes, this will do it. And it will also, I understand, take care of skunk smell on your pets and fleas. It's yes. a great product. This is just an example of some of the wonderful products that you can create from lavender. Come visit Leisure Lavender Farm right here in Otis Orchards. Thank you, Judy. Thank you very much. <laughs>